hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to do an year ending in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 14 community edition where i have already installed the accounting module as well as the sales module so in all erp system and on all accounting entities we know that there will be an annual auditing of the system to make sure that everything is okay so once the auditors or the bookkeepers do the annual auditing uh, they will be having like they will be validating one by one like till this date everything all the entities all the entries in the system are okay so once they have done like that that is if they done the annual auditing of 2019 they have to lock that period there should not be allowed to post any new entries during the closed period so let's see how we can do an year ending in odoo so in year ending in odoo is done using the lock date concept so if i take the odoo documentation from the odoo website so here you can see this is the documentation from the odoo website here you can see once the accountant or bookkeeper has created the general entry to allocate the current year earnings you should set the lock date to the last day of the fiscal year so to close the fiscal year what we have to do is that we have to set the log date so let's see how we can set the log date in odoo 14 community edition so as you know by default this option is not available in the community edition so for that purpose what you can do is that you can go to the odoo app store and you can download our odoo accounting module so once you install this odoo 14 accounting module in the database if you come to the accounting and here you can see in the accounting you have will have the option to log date suppose in this case right now we can see i can go to the invoice and right now i can create invoice for any period like let me confirm that so if i go to the settings also and if i scroll down you can see the fiscal year fiscal period closing is not set so right now i can create invoices in any time so i'll be just choosing a customer assure interior and i can choose the products whatever i need and you can see uh, i have to choose gst treatment as i have installed indian localization and here i can see we can choose any date so i can change it to 2019 or 2018 also so if i click on so accounting date is set so you can see i have already set the accounting date for the illustration purpose so right now what i will be doing is that uh, i'll be doing save so just i have saved that one so i have just removed the log date that i have already set for the tax so right now i'll be again choose for the assured interior I'll be choosing the GST treatment as consumer and I'll be adding my product. So once I done that, you can see my total is 157.0 and I can change the invoice date to any date like 2018, 17, etc. And if I click on save, confirm, I can see I can post it also. So suppose in our company, the annual audit for 2019 is completed, then we have to close that period of 2019. In that case, what we have to do is that we have to come to the accounting, log dates, and here you can see lock your fiscal period. So here we have the option for three different options like for known advisors, for all users and tax log date. So if the 2019 audit is completed, what you can do is that simply you can choose the date december 31 here like till this date all the odds are done so simply you can see 2019 december 31 and tax lock date also you can set december 31 of 2019 so once you've done this you can see we have selected lock date for known advisors lock date for all users lock tax lock date so once you choose this you can simply click on save button so once you save that you can see it will get saved inside the settings here you can see fiscal period closing is these dates that is last date of 2019 so once you close this period you cannot make a posting or you cannot make an entry to this period so right now let's see what happens if i try to create an invoice in a closed period so i'll be coming here i'll be choosing the same customer assure interior gst treatment i'll be choosing consumer and i'll be adding a product to the invoice line so here you can see the total is 840.42 and i will try to choose a date so we know we have the closing period as december 31st of 2019 so right now i'll be trying in going into the 2019 and i'll be choosing a date before december 31 that is 31st of 
13 of August. So here you can see the warning has been coming. The accounting date is set prior to tax log date which is set December 31st. Hence the accounting date will be changed to the next date posting. So here you can see you are getting a warning and you can see on clicking save you are getting blocked. You cannot add or modify entry prior to date inclusive of log date. So the system is saying that the log date is set to 31st of December so you cannot make a post an entry before that so we can only post after that so you can see if I try to create an invoice Azure interior and I can choose only date after the log date that is you can choose any date of 2020 so right now you can see there is no warning you have to choose this field confirm so this is how you can we can do the year ending in Odo so simply we can come to here accounting action log date and we have to set the log dates so you can set a different log dates for different users like for normal users we can like this and for advisors you can set like this so this is how the year ending is done in Odoo. simply we have to set the log dates so i'm repeating by default if you check for this option in default Odoo community edition you will not find this so by default this option is available only in Odoo enterprise edition so for getting this option in your community instance what you can do is that you can go to the Odoo app store and you can search for Odoo 14 accounting from the Odoo mates and just download this module and you can install this module to get all these features so along with these features you can get all the financial entries asset management budget management and bank statement import in the Odoo 14 community so here you can see we have the option of reports financial reports we have the option of asset management budgets as well as the bank statement import option also has been added recently here you can see we have added the bank statement import also option also so that's all about this video and if you have any queries suggestions or feedbacks don't hesitate to comment it out or reach us over the email that is automates at gmail.com so that's it thank you have a nice day